Now, all this week we're looking at the housing challenges in the UK. One of the major problems is, quite simply, that we're not building enough. At the moment, around 140,000 new houses go up every year. But experts say that number should be much higher, around 220,000. One difficulty is that local communities often oppose new developments. In Saffron Walden in Essex, some campaigners have even formed their own political party to oppose a new project, as I've been finding out. Who wouldn't want to live in Saffron Walden? This medieval market town is within easy reach of the capital and it oozes history and comfort. But this gracious place with wide green spaces has become an unlikely battlefield over housing. So what's your concern? This is the wrong place to build. This is Many local residents are up in arms over the council's plans to build hundreds of new houses in this green belt area. They've turned themselves into a political party and won seats on the local council. You know, building on this side forces all the traffic to come yeah, through the town. Yeah. They say there aren't enough facilities to support the planned new houses and their opposition has had some success. It's not about pulling up the drawbridge and saying no more. It's about making sure it works for the right for the local people. We're not anti-housing. We're housing in the right place and um, we're quite comfortable with our district taking its fair share of housing. It just needs to be properly planned out and done correctly. That's two and a half to make you laugh. The concern here is undeniable but it's a plain fact that Britain needs more housing. Developers want to build where the demand is highest but that's often where there's the most opposition. You know are there enough jobs in the area? Hospitals, doctors, schools. It's the affordability of it. When you're looking at all the executive houses that they're building, actually, for normal people, they're completely out of reach. Some new houses are being built and the demand is huge. All these 24 houses have been sold weeks before completion. Developers are meant to contribute to infrastructure costs. They say they do. And the problem with getting more new houses built lies elsewhere. It's a very difficult problem all over the country. Uh, what happens is that people know that we need to build more houses but when it comes to actually finding sites for those houses, nobody wants them near them. Preserving your environment is a strong instinct, but the local authority, which builds some housing, says there are nearly a thousand families waiting to be housed by the council and opponents can't just turn a blind eye. It's all very easy to say, no, we don't want any housing here, but that doesn't help those people we do have on the waiting list. And it's not just the people on the waiting list, it's those that want to buy on the, on the market as well. And with, if you have no housing supply, the prices just keep rising. The story of this town could be told in countless others across the country. Most agree on the need for more housing. The problem remains quite where to put it. Rita Chakrabarti, BBC News, Saffron Walden.